times do we hear students say, we don't want to stop at the end of a maths lesson. This was the result of planning maths units of learning and assessment using open-ended and problem-solving tasks with a teaching colleague. And working with the three of us on that, yes. the three in our learning team, it's we been share. wonderful because we have lots of support mm. with Jane and it's just been awesome. And it's enriching our own teaching and wanting to, it's, we're still learning. We're and still the kids are it. being more responsible more for responsive. their learning and yeah. they are excited about their learning, mm. which yes. is the, the, the biggest, has had the biggest impact Definitely. on what we're doing because they love maths. Mm. It has been motivating to witness students engaging with and enjoying maths. <coughs> Hearing students responding by saying, maths used to be boring and hard when we did worksheets, but now it's fun and really interesting because you can make up your own sums and challenge yourself. I like problem solving because there's lots of different answers and you can make lots of different patterns. I really like challenging myself like that. I will do harder numbers next time I do problem solving and I like learning new numbers. I'm seeing students completing and achieving much more during lesson time. This has given me the additional confidence to continue to change my approach and routines. So you use yeah, number line there. Yeah. Number line. Yeah. Students are now displaying a far greater capability in developing their maths fluency and reasoning through this problem solving approach rather than completing worksheets. Fantastic, great thinking. So, what, how did you stretch your thinking today? Well, I was thinking so hard about my yeah. Problem solving is allowing students to develop not just their knowledge, but also their dispositions of persistence, resilience and collaboration, as they are not being passive learners. They know the expectation is for them to work cooperatively and explain to others how they solved a problem. My thinking and planning about how to set up learning situations to allow students to be engaged and self-direct their learning is still evolving. But I want to continue to find new ways to motivate and engage students in maths. And then I do like bunny hops from five to 10. I do like that. I like problem solving because it's challenging and tricky, it's fun. My practice has changed and I'm a better teacher for it.